morning guys, Cindy Utter here. It's March 25th, about uh, 10 after 10 in the morning. Um, today's a Monday. Apparently I didn't feel like vlogging over the weekend because Saturday, I just first, honestly, I forgot about it on Saturday. I spent the morning um, hanging out in my glass house, just playing around. And then in the evening, my in-laws came over and we had a bonfire and did some hot dogs and we don't have any marshmallows. So we have to get some of those, but so Saturday was an okay day. And actually I was just feeling just okay. Not wonderful, not woohoo, let's go. It was just like eh, another day. Yesterday, <laughs> I don't even think my husband wanted to be around me. I was grumpy. I just my entire insides was really shaky and I just, I didn't feel right. I just felt grumpy. And I said to my husband, I said, I'm grumpy today. He goes, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really sorry, but I'm grumpy. I just, I felt grumpy. But anyways, um, so yesterday morning I went to my glass house a little bit. Nothing I did. I just couldn't get into anything. Um, so I hung out at the pool for a little while and just sat there and sucked up some sun and then um and then I came in and I started to try to do some art last night it did not work very well because my husband kept interrupting me and he wanted to start talking about plans on um what's the word revamping our kitchen we're going to tear it all apart and put it back together with new stuff I can't think of the word off the top of my head um we're going to redo our kitchen and so he wanted to start talking about plans and here I am in the middle of paint and I was just like, really? I can't, I can't do both of these. I want to concentrate on my art or we need to work on the kitchen. So I shut everything down and we worked on the kitchen. We actually have a plan, um, of how we're going to do it. We are not hiring somebody to get it done. Um, Jeff will be doing the work himself. Uh, he enjoys it. He loves it. He knows what he's doing and Hey, let's just get it done. So we have a really good idea of what our plan is going to be. Um, I think I'm going to have a lot more storage. I know um, I'm going to have a lot more room in my kitchen as well. So I'm really excited to get that done. This morning, um, actually last night, I, I didn't sleep that great again. And I blame this on the steroids. The last probably week since last Tuesday, I haven't really slept well. And that's the steroids. And if you notice, I still have the steroid cheeks going on. I wake up every morning with steroid cheeks and I'm not sure why they kind of go away during the day but every morning I've been waking up with them normally I only have it a couple days you know a couple days and then it's gone but I don't know if my body's just reacting differently to them or what I don't know um, but today I feel better I don't feel grumpy <laughs> which is a good thing um, I've already done a video this morning um, working on bulky bin and you know, I, I'm okay today, but I don't really want to go anywhere. Chronic pain-wise, my back is as normal. My hips, thank God, do not burn like they used to. They, um, you know, like they did a week ago, they were awful. But chronic pain-wise, I'm okay. I'm rocking a couple pain patches as normal. I've got one in the middle of my back, one on my lower back. I plan on doing a little bit of art today, and I've got some reorganization I need to do in here because my desk is just a complete chaos mess. So, other than that, there's not a lot going on. Um, I did put a post in Art Play Through Chronic Pain this morning, and basically, you know, uh, my tip of the day is you need to listen to your body. I can't say that enough. I know so many people, oh, I hurt, I hurt. When did you start hurting? Three days ago. Okay, why have you not relaxed? Why have you not rested? Why have you, and, and I know, there's all these what I call excuses. Well, I got to do this and I got to do that. You know what? They can wait. There are things, tasks that, yeah, we want to do today, but it can wait until tomorrow. So definitely listen to your body and try your best to give your body what it needs. And most of the time it needs rest. It may need ice. It may need heat. You may need a pain patch. You may need um, a pain medication. Whatever the case may be, listen to your body. As you start doing this on a regular basis, you're going to get to the point where I'm at, where I live in a in a, a seven pain scale daily. It does not change. It hasn't changed since the day I started. I had the accident at work. So. 
I've learned to adapt to it, but the biggest thing I've learned is to listen. Now, I'm sitting here right now in my chair. I'm going to be getting up, wandering around, doing some organization stuff, like I said. And then if my back, I sit back down in this chair and my back starts screaming, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. So I listen to my body. I either get up and walk around a little bit or I go out on the couch and lay down. So that's what my body is telling me. I'll use some ice. Not very rarely heat. I very rarely use heat. Ice helps me a lot better. So my tip for the day, again, and you're going to hear this a lot, um, is listen to your body. I hope you guys have as pain-free day as possible. I may or may not check in tonight. Depends on how the day goes. And if not, gentle hugs to everybody, and I'll chat soon. Bye. Hey guys, uh, quick check in. Yeah, we went to that store. Say hi, hubs. Hi. Um, yeah, it's rainy here today, like I said, and my body is not happy. Um, a lot of pain in my back, a lot of pain going down my left leg. Uh, you know, there's other places we wanted to go, but it's just not happening right now. So we're on our way home. Um, thankfully, my hubby will bring all the crap in to the house. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put on a big crock pot of spaghetti sauce, and then that's it. I'm done for the day. I, I can't. Um, the walking just did me in. Um, bound to happen, but wanted to check in, let you guys know, and I will chat with you a little bit later on. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. Um, yeah, I'm in the vehicle again. It's about 10 minutes to 9. I've been awake for approximately an hour. Um, Hubs is here. Say good good morning. morning. He's nuts. See, he's a morning person. I'm not. Um, we're headed to the dreadful store that I can't stand. Walmart! I wish they would uh, put some other type of... Uh, a store up here so that you know I wouldn't be um, so hesitant to go but anyways um, yeah yesterday afternoon um, I was busy most of the day just playing around doing some videos for bulky Ben and and just you know messing around in my art room getting things organized reorganized I should say <clears throat> and then it was about three yeah three-ish or so I went out to the couch and so we had this great idea to go get Mexican for dinner which we've ate at this Mexican place <laughs> time after time he's crazy I'm telling you he's crazy um, yeah please don't hit a dog so you guys can see me I'm all white out um, so we got Mexican and I I've been having a lot of issues with my stomach lately and I think part of it is all the medication I'm taking so last night I was having just massive, massive pain right under my ribs and my stomach. Um, it lasted, what would you say, hour, hour, hour and a half or so. Went to bed last night, not much sleep. Um, still a little bit of pain in the tummy, um, hot flashes from the steroids, um, steroid cheeks, it was just burning. I was just sweating my butt off, but then again I was freezing. So. You know, it just, eh, not a great night's sleep. I think it was about 2 o'clock this morning when I actually dozed off. So, I got awoken by a pucky dog pouncing on my head. Um, and, like I said, up, showered, and now headed to the store. When I get back home, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen today. I can tell you not a whole lot. It's raining out, which means my bones and my joints are hurting. It is what it is, guys. Um, you know, we do the best with what we've got. And I think that's about it for right now. That's as far as my brain will think this morning. <laughs> so I'll chat with you guys a little bit later on in the day. I hope you guys all have, uh, you know, as pain-free day as possible. Don't forget, I'm going to tell you all week long, you need to listen to your body. You need to listen to what it's telling you. And sorry about the jiggling, but I'm in a car. Um... You need to be able to um, answer, you know, what it's saying to you. Use your toolbox, whether it's ice, a cane, pain patches, um, pain medication, whatever. Stretching, 
um, tens unit, ice machine, what did I say that already? Um, heat, whatever the case may be, get your toolbox together so that you know what to do when your body starts talking to you. All right, um, you guys have a great morning and I will check in later. Bye everybody. Oh, there he is. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye guys. Hey guys, Cindy Otter here. Um, it's Friday afternoon. I'm sitting here looking around, um, about quarter after three. Uh, yeah. Um, Wednesday I spent the day anxious, worried, concerned, hoping, praying, um, that my appointment on Thursday would, uh, give me some results. Um, it did not. <laughs> Basically, what happened is um, the orthopedic surgeon looked at my MRI, and structurally, I'm okay for now. I don't need to have the fusion now, so that's good news. Um, as far as pain-wise, absolutely no relief for the pain. Um, I even mentioned to him um, I wanted um, to get more lidoderm pain patches, which right now I, I just I use all the time. I have two of them on right now. And his honest answer was he doesn't like to um, prescribe them because there's too much paperwork. So that was my answer on those. Um, then um, we talked about my neck. We talked about the middle of my back. Uh, he is sending me, actually let me back up, for my lower back. Uh, he is sending me for nerve testing, which I actually do on Monday. Um, I've had it done before and I've been told that I have permanent nerve damage in that left leg So I'm sure it's just going to be repeated um, Then we discussed my middle back and my neck and um, He was more concerned at the at that point with my neck versus my middle back um, So I go for an MRI for my neck and see what's going on there and you know when I left there I was so frustrated you know I put a lot of hope on being able to get rid of some of this pain and it looks like I'm still stuck with it so you know I had to kind of <laughs> my husband had to kind of talk me down Wednesday because like I said I was not happy I I left there and I was crying you know and it's just you guys know how it feels it, it just feels like you're defeated and you know, I had to really think about it and, you know, talk with my hubby about it. And, yeah, it's good that I don't have to have surgery right now. That's that's a bonus. Um, the fact that I can't get any pain relief at this point, that's not fun. So, something's going to have to be done about that. I am going to wait until my nerve tests come back and I have to go back to see him after I see my nerve tests and my MRI on my neck. We're going to discuss it again. And... If he has to, he's got to send me somewhere to somebody that will give me something to at least take the edge off every now and then. I can pretty much manage it um, by not doing a whole lot, by not walking a whole lot, by um, when it starts throbbing really bad, laying down. I mean, I can kind of manage it that way. Does it make a fulfilled life? Absolutely not. But it's doable. So... I can do it that way. Um, today, uh, I had to go to my regular doctor, and that was just no big deal. Um, everything's fine there. And this afternoon, I got home, and after we got done with the doctors this morning, I said to Jeff, I said, I need to just be in my art space. So we actually went to Hobby Lobby, and I found these really cool shelves, which I put in front of me, and I'll show you guys later on. but. Um, so I've basically spent the afternoon just messing around here on my desk. Um, as far as art, I haven't done anything. Um, do I feel like doing art? Honestly, not really. I'm exhausted. Uh, I did talk to the doctor about that this morning. That is the fibromyalgia. Nothing I can do about it. Um, but yeah, frustration, anger, sadness, disappointment, um, anxiety, Fear, all of those emotions I just went through the last two days. They don't all go away. <laughs> you learn how to manage them and you learn how to come back from them. You learn how to, um, 
what's the word, how to just reset. And you're like, okay, this is what happened. This is what we got to deal with. Let's move on. I can't stress over it anymore. I can't, um, there's nothing I can do at this point. So it's status quo. Like I said, I get the nerve test done. We'll see what happens to that. Um, but other than that, it's status quo. So here comes my pucky. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. But I just wanted to check in, let you know I'm okay. Where are you going? And um, it's all good. It is what it is. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know if you've noticed I haven't been doing vlogs on Saturday and Sunday. I think it's just I want the time off. <laughs> So um, I may or may not check in tomorrow. If not, I hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, I'll see you again on Monday. Take care guys, gentle hugs and pain free. Bye bye.